Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Unto him who sits on the throne, blessing and honor. To Jesus, the Lamb that was slain, glory and power. Seats on the throne, blessings and honor. Blessings and honor. To Jesus, the Lamb that was slain, glory and power. I believe that tonight's teaching is going to be very powerful. I began to sense that anointing right from home because of the things that have been communicated by the Spirit and I knew by the Spirit. Koinonia is a place of encounters. An encounter makes a revelation real to you. But
seated if you can and then be sensitive hallelujah please be sensitive 
especially for those of us who came from far you didn't come to waste your time you see let me tell you something about a call and a ministry listen listen see, when God calls a man the anointing is not the only thing that is given you have to understand this every ministry has many standard spiritual features when God calls a man please listen there is an anointing that is upon that man by reason of his knowledge and his personal press into the things of God there is the anointing that is on the office that that man occupies spiritually there is the anointing that is on that man by reason of discerning and being part of the current move of they are not the same are we together and then there is the anointing that comes by reason of the dimensions that God wants to take people into based on the truths that are revealed and then at certain levels depending on the call and what office there are covenants please listen that means a vow that God made with that man that as far as it relates to this assignment I have bound myself to do certain things that has nothing to do with even the vessel you see that then there are angelic manifestations listen now there are angels that work with believers there are angelic presence please listen as a believer he said his angels she shall put his angels charge over you there are angelic presence that work with believers but there are angels that don't follow a man they follow anointings they don't need to know who that individual is it's an office the same way they give you an office and there are cars there are pas they don't have to know you it is part of the equipping of the kingdom you see that it's very important and then there are also angelic presence that signify revelations it is not only the anointing that gives revelation the revelation of jesus christ which he gave unto john his servant he said he sent it and signified it by his angel hallelujah so when you're in a meeting like this and you see things like this happen it's an interplay of many things it's not just a generic move of an anointing from an anointed man there are things happening that have nothing to do with the vessel himself there are things that are as a result of the health of the secret place of the vessel there are certain things that are based on the office that is being played I just wanted you to learn and to know this because many times believers just wonder look let me tell you this let me tell you this you see these things God is blessing it's not just that God is proving that a man is anointed some of these people fall in many things are happening at the same time there are deliverances there are impartations there are the, the opening spiritual vistas is like a veil just being open to move men into dimensions this is how people grow this is how people grow it is not my desire to carry some of these graces and these possibilities and just have people watch it <clears throat> when god sends a word to jacob it is because of 
Israel that you will also be able to carry these dimensions you see transformation is difficult when there is no reference so God finds a man that represents a possibility and then your spirit and your mind is able to comprehend that dimension as true and possible then you can release your faith and step into it koinonia we call it is it alright if you pray for one minute and just ask the Lord say Lord all the graces all the revelations Pastor Alpha let us no you don't have to stand just pray please pray with desperation and hunger hallelujah praise the lord please be seated revelations 4 tonight will be a mighty time it will be brief so that we'll pray we pray for grace we pray for strength revelations chapter 4 this I looked and behold a door was opened in heaven and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me which said come up hither and I will show thee things which must be thereafter come up hither and i will show thee things which must not may be certainty things which must be thereafter jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3 jeremiah 33 and verse 3 hmm. how can I see by myself unless you take over I'll never know it on my own unless you take over take over Jesus take over take over Jesus take over how can I see by myself unless you take over I will not hear it on my own unless you take over take over take over take over you cannot learn it on your own unless it takes over you'll never see by yourself unless it takes over listen there are dimensions you can never see by willpower and study it is given like an initiation until your eyes are open you will never see it he said call on to me and i will answer i will be the one to show you if i don't show you you cannot see it you can study you can pray you can fast but for seeing you may have eyes but you can never see it there are realms that are shown 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 it's called fellowship with the mystery you are brought into oneness with truths and revelations we'll never know it by ourselves unless it takes over we cannot know it by ourselves
I'll never hear you on my own Unless you take over Take over Jesus take over Take over Take over Please sit down Tonight is a call to press higher. Tonight is a call to shake us away and out of spiritual complacency. Tonight is a call to show us that there is more. That regardless of that which we have seen, there is more. That's why I said if you have not done anything serious in the spirit, this message may not be for you. This message is for someone who has healed before. It's for someone who has prophesied before. It's for someone who is at the cutting edge of the move of God. It's for someone who has tasted and seen the power and the glory of God. Tonight's message is for someone who knows what it means to be used by God. Tonight's message is, someone, is for someone who knows what it means to have the anointing. Not guessing. Come up here, he said come up here to a higher realm of prophecy to a higher realm of teaching to a higher realm of visions to a higher realm of spiritual power i'm a student of revivals god has granted me the privilege to study the moves of god please listen and i have studied revivals i've listened to a few senior colleagues and fathers in the ministry talk about revivals either based on their experiences or what they were told please listen carefully and i learned this from a man of god that the current move of god always fights the next move of god that the enemy of the next move of God is the current move because many times listen carefully every move of God comes with a level of outstanding results every move of God comes with a performance in a higher dimension and usually because of the the consistency that will come with that move over a period of time it is easy for those who have mastered the strategy that makes them relevant within that move to plateau in the spirit and not believe that there can be more again now listen very carefully when the healing ministry started listen carefully great men like alexander the way and these generals of god they moved in very strange dimensions but then a time came when the healing ministry seemed to just plateau because it looked like men had gotten to the zenith of what they believed that God could do when the prophetic came people rose to certain levels and it looked like those who were the highest manifestors of those gifts just stood at a realm This is not backslide this is that you have exhausted every possibility that is within the jurisdiction of that move there is nothing you can do as far as that dimension is concerned you have exhausted it at that level you will need revelations chapter 4 a time will come when you will find out that every dimension you need to see as written for you by God within a level you have exhausted it you've read it you've preached it you've done everything and let me tell you this listen very carefully I say it with all humility but I have seen you, you see when you start walking with God because of the extent of the downpour listen carefully of visions 
of revelations you are being open to new things and then especially if you have the privilege of what i call pioneer status that means that you are the among the few to introduce that dimension to a territory because of the scarceness of that revelation there will be a lot to do i mean you are so full of revelation you can preach back to back and there are messages but a time will come when the people within that territory all come into that experience they are baptized into it now listen very carefully remember when you were introducing it because very few people knew about that dimension there was hunger and the hunger will always draw you anything you say there will be an applause for it because very few people could enter that dimension but with time everybody will continue to press as you guide them listen carefully you will get to a point where the least has entered like the ark of noah at that point now you will find out that together the goal for that season has been met because god now used you and showed you a dimension and so for three or four years sometimes you will not even need to study anything new you are so full so full you it's like it's a, it's like an animal that has just given birth and wanting the children to suck when that happens let me tell you what happens usually because of the joy the beauty the honor the applause that comes by reason of your being used by God to produce certain dimensions you may fall into the deception that the zenith of what you communicate is all that there can be and so what you will continue doing is recycling the same thing recycling the same thing recycling the same thing to mean that this realm that I've stayed is all there can be in God revelation starts with John the beloved do you know who John was John was not just an apostle he was called the beloved that means if you arrange all the disciples according to their permit me to use the word according to their spiritual stratification the first will not be peter the first will be john the beloved they abided these three faith peter hope james love john the greatest you see that now and john was banished in an isle called patmos for the sake of the testimony of jesus christ and while he was there he said i was in the spirit on the lord's day that, that's another discussion there because there are things you cannot see he said flesh and blood has not revealed this there are levels in the spirit where until you rise in the spirit you cannot see you cannot know so he says i was in the spirit on the lord's day and i heard first started with his hearing i heard this and that and that and then eventually he saw the church the lamb stands and then he received the dimension of revelation to the seven churches that were in asia minor prophetically the catholic church the complete church because every one of those churches represented a dimension in the body that god was adjusting commending and correcting are we together having exhausted that then he was open to another dimension of worship in heaven are we together and to think that that was all john was being told by this revelation that john at this plane that you stand now there is nothing to see again everything has been seen and every instruction has been received notice john was never shown things that will happen from that plane he only saw things that were and things that are that was it then chapter 4 comes and he says come up here and let's go to the future let me show you the things that must happen shortly and john rolls to the future there are realms that when you stand there you will see what has happened and what is happening but you may never see what god is up to you can be a christian you can still be called i 
I learned very early in life and in ministry that as wonderful as fame is it can be dangerous that as wonderful as revelation and leadership is let me tell you this if you ever assume a pioneer status in the spirit you have to be extra careful pioneers are usually the ones who hardly finish read the bible there are few pioneers that finished moses leads the people and never gets into the promised land himself are you seeing that now it's very important it's easy to follow a move that was not introduced by you it's easy to follow on yours is just to observe template and to conform to it by the spirit the nation of israel did not have to climb the mountain to experience god they just needed to look at the face of the one who already went what was in the mountain was now on the face of a man so instead of climbing up the mountain they just kept looking at moses and they would have the same experience but it was up to moses to know the next thing that god would be doing are we together now powerful as moses was you can see the extent of his trial and error they will wait behind and wait for him to go and fish out the new move then all of them will come and follow it was because of this moses was instructed to speak to the rock and in anger he struck the rock and because of that he said no 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 no. this was not my program you've corrupted it you cannot enter canaan pioneering the move of god is very dangerous many people like the honor that follows this and that to say oh we are the ones that started this dimension but you see the thing about it is that because you are at that level you will feel indebted to that level you will be emotionally connected to that move you cannot leave it to the next level are we together now yes that you were the first to be to open up a dimension of god to a territory it's like you are the first to start producing this and now when you are aware that this is no longer in use if everybody leaves it you will not want to leave it too because of that relationship that's how it is even with spiritual things there are dimensions that you can be so emotionally connected to because of the experiences that surround that dimension and when another move of god starts coming you will prefer that the move comes to meet you there but not to leave that level and to rise higher that's why i said it is dangerous to pioneer spiritual things it's a noble cause and it's a noble task but the burden on it it will only take the spirit of the living god to help you the second reason why it is dangerous or by dangerous i don't mean it is not advantageous that's not what i'm saying i'm saying that you are in a very vulnerable position the second is that because of the charisma and the ego are we together and the sense of achievement that surrounds that level the moment you and any other move that is happening within that dispensation that you don't seem to be involved in you can preach that it is error or it is satanic or it is demonic because you are used to being the starter you are not used to following you are used to starting moves understand what i'm saying you know you see that if you have not done anything in god tonight's teaching may not really bless you john was the first of his kind to introduce this dimension of the prophetic a very strange prophet the bible says of all the prophets none was as great as john so john is in the wilderness eating locust and wild honey a strange dimension of revelation when jesus comes john baptizes jesus and then he's happy that he's baptized jesus even john said i may decrease i'm not sure he understood what he was saying now eventually the disciples of john had to start leaving to join something that was a move 
John was never in one of Jesus' crusades. They didn't hang him the next day. They didn't lock him the next day. John was alive. He was there. He never saw the need because he believed that the, the emotional connect and the ego of pioneering things did not allow him to go there notice all the people that seem to be pioneers were those who were offended with jesus the scribes and the pharisees we are the sanhedrin council what are you doing jesus all the followers were excited what is the new thing let us join if it's bread we eat if it's the mountain we climb but the scribe said not so this is not how we have been doing it including john follow me very carefully so john is hearing of the things jesus is doing and a few disciples who are loyal to him too come back look at the pain in john's heart the people he had raised i don't know what john thought he would become but his honor was already there for his assignment completed but john probably believed that he would continue to run that ministry the same way jesus was running it to like a parallel whatever it is and it seemed as though jesus did not have regard for john because we never see jesus making any mention of john go and greet john or oh, john just to tell you your boy is still here the move continues and the fame of jesus is growing john is threatened the scribes are threatened the roman government threatened everything every day was an episode of mighty things listen very carefully follow me i want to show you something powerful mm. one day john gets himself in trouble and he's behind bars about to be beheaded and he sends in offense listen this is the current move fighting the next move go and confirm are you the one that we should be waiting for are you the messiah or is there another it was a sarcastic statement it was not a question that required an answer john was not ignorant he was a prophet and when jesus had it jesus said i know what the problem is it's a weakness in men it's a weakness in pioneers it's a weakness in those who are trusted to pioneer certain moves listen what i'm teaching you is very deep you will listen to what i said some years to come and you will cry when god sent you to a region where they do not know one tenth of the truths that god has taught you and for many years you become a celebrity and a mighty man and god begins to do mighty things in and through you and then one day you will hear and see of things that you were not involved with and you will see. this is the challenge oh, let me not go ahead of myself this is one of the major challenges with all due respect of fathers and senior colleagues in ministry because of the mighty things that god did in and through them and the dimensions that were introduced sincerely speaking not out of wickedness or whatever they were so emotionally connected to starting things that they believe that if god is ever to do anything it is impossible for them to not start it so when they hear that mighty things are happening and they don't seem to be involved they think it to their honor whereas john was not there when jesus commended him as the greatest prophet in other words as far as this move is concerned receive your crown. you have done a great job but let the program of God continue. And if you are interested, you will have to humble yourself and join that move. Provided you are not pioneering it. I will show you those who got it right in the Bible. One of them was Mary. No woman as a virgin had ever gotten pregnant. It was a new dimension. Now, Mary had a right to sit down and say, My son, Jesus my this my that but when she discerned there was a new move she followed them to the upper room and waited quietly the mother of jesus among the 120 who would receive the holy ghost was it not the before some of them were born 
she had been relating with the holy ghost it was the holy ghost that got her pregnant and now she's coming to receive him in another dimension with humility you understand what i will teach you you will never miss any move of god if you don't get it there are moves that will leave you you will stand in shock it's not backsliding you will just say lord when did this cloud pass me mary got it right john did not it. john was offended i will show you that even jesus got it right he knew that purpose was not just to come and remain on earth he knew the timing and even in advance he began to tell them i am not afraid of handing over because it is in handing over that my honor is multiplied listen so jesus is preparing the people watch this and then he uses a very dangerous statement it is expedient that i go ah. they said no you must remain here you will be king we ate bread we like you remain we like this kind of ministry but he was saying no 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 i'm even coming to i'm a bridge between the old and the new you must be so desperate for god that the position you occupy in the things of God should not matter. You must be so desperate for the things of God like Mary. You can give birth to Jesus and still join to wait. She was not the one leading praise and worship in the upper room. If Mary comes and sits in Koinonia now, I will give her the mic. I will just give her and sit down. What does it like to carry the word of God bodily for nine months? Mary, talk to us, let's learn. I will hand over the ministry to Mary. There was no mention of her speaking. Imagine Mary was there among the 120. So Peter is praying. Remember Jesus told us that in 10 more days, the Holy Ghost will come and Mary is watching them. You know the level of humility it takes to be a mighty mover in a dimension sustain the humility to stand back there is an obsession in men to be known there is an obsession in men to be famous it's a weakness in men please listen back to our story so john is offended and makes a sarcastic statement go and ask jesus whether he's the messiah the same said behold the lamb that takes away the sins of the world now said go and verify jesus we are not sure again do you know what that message would have done to the disciples they would have said if prophet john is now doubting jesus it means we have to be careful it was a sarcastic way of saying be careful with that meeting be careful with that move so when jesus had it he laughed he said go and the blind see this and that and the gospel is preached he said blessed is he that is not offended in me then the disciples were now at the center stage and one day listen carefully they heard that there were other people who were not part of their camp there was there were some powerful miracles happening somewhere and the disciples said jesus what is going on here and jesus laughed he said you guys want to make the mistake of john whoever is not against us whoever is not against us is for us they were so happy there was a time the the remember the mother of james and john she wanted to come and see him the disciples stopped and said what is it we're in a move we're enjoying you see why they were angry when jesus said he was going they said well, what is all this one now so what is our own take on this you have created trouble for us and now you want to leave you are not going anywhere and jesus said no it is expedient that i go i'm going because you will now be on the center stage with the holy spirit and they refused jesus was secured enough to finish his assignment and to step back to say spirit of the living god these are the ones that represent the next move use them mightily I will still be glorified 
I'm digressing to make this statement so that you will understand. I have seen a lot of people who started great things in the body and today they are not benefactors of the next move because their attachment and their ego will not give them the flexibility to blend into what God was doing. And so because they are, they are being inert in the next move of God will have to require an explanation. So they will fabricate an explanation that communicates error and they'll say forget about those people that's one of the reasons why so many people have insulted the prophetic today i know that the prophetic has its own errors i know if the prophetic has its own imbalances but many people because the dealings of god at that time did not open up to this dimension there are people for instance who will see what just happened here and say no way god does not move like this this is nonsense just because god did not move the way he was moving before does not mean he's not the one moving the flexibility to discern the next move of God and that if you are interested in, you open up your heart and say Lord I must not pioneer that move to join what you are doing if it is God and it brings glory to you I'm on my way going it's a very difficult thing difficult thing if you are a follower it's okay but if you are one who moves why will you see Mary among the 120 sitting quietly I have looked for certain names who were once great names in the body in as much as the move of the spirit within their time was there and those names are almost silent and there has been no interest to find out what else is God doing and sometimes they have begun to teach that look anything that is outside the scope of what we know is nonsense that is a dangerous thing that is the mistake of John John would have followed Jesus quietly and he would have died honorably there would have been no reason for being beheaded in every crusade Jesus would have given him honor even the scribes were given honor as terrible where they never sat outside they sat inside they hated him but at least they followed they followed Nicodemus came one day and said Jesus let me tell you we are not stupid we know we know we see what you are doing we see the formation of a new move we know that you are a man sent from God for no man can do these things except God be with him except God be with him I'm taking our time to establish this before we begin to build I just felt it strongly in my spirit to tell us do you know why I'm saying this Zaria hear me you are a privileged place this is a place that God has put his hand very strongly and many people from here listen God is distributing people from this city across several places and you see when you get to some of those regions you will be surprised that as cheap as some of these revelations we trivialize are you will find out that some of those regions are in utter scarcity and you will be so relevant within a period and if you do not sustain the discernment to know what next when people come into that dimension and you don't know how to come up hither you will be in big trouble you will become the biggest enemy to the next move of God Alexander the way was a mighty mighty healing evangelist listen carefully he created what we call Zion the Zion city are we together now when you know then they didn't have internet and communication was not strong so you couldn't know what was happening in, in another part of the world the way was doing a mighty mighty work until a strange woman later appeared called maria woodward eater listen when maria woodward eater appeared she introduced a dimension of the move of god that they call presence evangelism that was when people would fall down like this and literally freeze in the same position for hours having heavenly encounters and she was a woman until then 
Doway was not aware that something was happening at the other side of the world. The day Alexander Doway heard it, history has it. This is confirmed. Alexander Doway told everybody that this woman, number one, as a woman, number two, this dimension was occultism. And he used his influence to fight that woman. Her first husband joined that conviction and fought her till he died. The current move of God usually will be the biggest challenge to the next move of God. The same way the law was the biggest challenge to the grace of God. Remember that the Sanhedrin council started by the impartation of the spirit of Moses upon 70 elders. That's how it started. Eventually it had now become a religious place. And when Jesus came, they could not even identify him. So John had exhausted all his revelation within a dimension he had seen. Had John returned back, John would never believe that there were higher dimensions. But then the angel told him, come up here. Please prophesy to somebody, say, come up here. Come up here. And I will show you the things that must happen. I call what I just explained to you the tragedy of complacency that comes with a successful move of God. It is a complacency. It is, it is, it is weaved in men. It's a weakness in men. That when, when you are successful in executing God's desire for a season, usually the impetus to inquire lord can there be more will not be there because there are obvious evidences nobody can come and say you are not anointed nobody can say you are not intelligent the records are there to show that you are anointed the records are there to show you have built a great church the records are there to show you are mighty let me give you an instance in nigeria today the pattern of church growth is that there usually will be a central church like a headquarters is that true and then you will now have branches all together connected do you know that was not how it was before there was a move of god that brought that formation do you know what the next move is because many young people in our generation now have every dimension you climb has the strategy for the move of god i'm not saying that is wrong you understand what i'm saying so the way God revealed to our fathers, most of them, you will find out that there is a central headquarters. Is that true? That coordinates everything. Then there are branches around the world. It was never like that in the history of Nigeria. In fact, before that time, the strategy was to have a small church and be dangerously anointed and just hide there like a seer. And your job is to part and release people. That was the strategy men like apostle babalola it was after his death that cac expanded like that the, the apostolic church and, and all of that when you read about them most of the great pioneers of the churches we have today especially around the west when they were the way they were they were small look at redeem for instance the founder they had not received the blueprint of establishment and expansion like that our fathers stayed with god and god said for this move that i am bringing this is the strategy I am revealing. Are you seeing that now? But as wonderful as that is, it can be dangerous for someone in our generation to just mechanically begin to envisage. Because in the next 20 years, technology has taught us that you must be at the cutting edge of evolution. The same way it is scientifically, that's the same way it is spiritually. So if in our generation, your dream is to have branches in every state, you are already at the verge of missing something serious because that is not the pattern that will come. We must be able to stay and say, Lord, what is the pattern? As at the time that move started, there was no internet to create. So the advantage of connectivity was not there. Do you know what the move of God will be now that
that internet is an advantage that a man can sit in his room and be talking to the whole world it's dangerous to be where God was it's dangerous to be where God was he said holy holy is the Lord God Almighty who was who is and who is to come it's a dangerous thing to be where God was it's a dangerous thing to be involved in what God was doing you have to posture yourself to be relevant in what God is doing and what he's about to do your current level at your current spiritual level you can only see what God is doing that's the limit if you want to see the future you must come up either from revelations 1 to 3 there was nothing futuristic it was a revelation of things that were and the things that are the moment he wanted to see the next program of God he was asked to rise to a higher dimension if you're with me say amen so we must trust God for grace to conquer what I call the tragedy of complacency please be careful when you are the greatest of your kind within a territory pray more fast more because the rest are waiting for you to move and if you don't move just like you they will stay and can I tell you something usually when the move of God comes all the followers are just faster because there is no embarrassment like the disciples of John it is usually you you see which is also another reason why listen men of God we must teach as though there is more in God it is dangerous that you are teaching doctrines doctrines will not change they are exact spiritual precepts given to the saints but when you are studying the life the character of God you must create a lot of flexibility and I'm the position of a student even before your members so that there is no embarrassment if and when you have to adjust to the things that God is doing if you're with me say amen an arrival mentality is a dangerous mentality for a Christian for a man of God an arrival mentality I've seen miracles I've seen signs I've seen wonders I've seen the move of God but could that could could it be that there's more in God than you've not seen now I'm going to make a very serious statement I want you to listen mention names is a father of faith that has gone to be with the Lord a respected voice in the body a great I call him great grandfather now Papa E. Hagen when you read Hagen's books and you see a lot of things that Hagen wrote you will know that Hagen was absolutely at the cutting edge of what God was doing at his time but when you read Papa Hagen's books with the lens of what God is doing now you will find a lot of gaps and the need for improvement which is proof he succeeded it's not proof that he's weak it's proof that he succeeded he left us a template a ladder to build upon it was papa hagin that wrote things like the anointing of the spirit the only medium that the anointing can move upon is a prayer cloth and he's right because he saw it in the bible but now we know that that is not absolutely true it was a dimension of truth that was seen based on him the anointing of the spirit is as limitless as god himself are you getting what i'm saying now it's very important let me tell you this i have seen visions of the coming move of god and i have been stretched myself because of the dimension of the things that will happen those dimensions will be fought tooth and nail when I say tooth and nail, there are dimensions that even as a strong believer, you will need grace from God. You will need to look well from the lens of scripture. Is the reason why God is grounding us on the word now. So that when that dimension comes, 
the your dexterity in the word will make you beautiful. <laughs> listen to what i'm telling you there are things we have not yet seen on earth that must happen before christ comes the bible records it there are dimensions we have only spoken about the prophet said it if as i'm standing here right now you just see this mic on the table and i'm out i'm gone by this night an internet is going to say finally exposed the voodoo power even from this example some of you are already afraid for me apostle don't do it oh you see let me tell you this yet we read in the bible that the spirit took philip and told him to join the chariot of a man not in a vision a man dematerialized entered the realm of the spirit reformed back and stayed on a chariot and the eunuch was afraid he didn't run away he told nathaniel you will see greater things than this he told nathaniel that you will see heavens opened and the angels ascending and descending upon the son of man let me tell you this the miracles that have stretched us now and the dimensions of the power and the word of god will be child's play compared to the things that god has because the pride of men and this cosmos there must be the introduction of something so divine and powerful to bring the kings to their knees this current level cannot bring the kings to their knees again you can what you call now the move of god go to dubai go to singapore go to the u.s and challenge them they will look at you and say stupid this is what you came to tell me let me tell you the truth we are not going to win the world just by charity i believe in charity don't get me wrong but right now the church is beginning to be so afraid they don't have any other superior result so they just have to blend to feed the poor so that that's the only condition to be accredited by non-christian organizations that the, the world's interpretation of the church's relevance is feeding the poor and hungry and i don't have a problem with it but they are reducing us so everybody's now saying look it looks like the court the in thing now if you don't want to be criticized quietly find orphans or find widows buy sewing machine and color or something just share and snap and the world will say well done this is what you the colder you are the more the world says well done we are now seeing what you are doing there are tv programs today that will not air koinonia like this with what happened no way no way with the move of god like this someone shouting <clears throat> you are creating controversy that will make the regulatory agencies get into trouble like i said if you're a new believer tonight you will need extra grace from god that's why i, I pre-warned you already ahead of time we need something more than what we have now to bring the arrogance of the kings of the earth let me tell you they have prosperity they have health do you know that most of what we claim the power of god does we don't even have it well mention three or four things the only thing that the church now in as much as we know can boast of one salvation two the personal communion of the holy spirit three the peace that surpasses all understanding but as far as anything earthly is concerned and the things i just mentioned are the things we don't emphasize most of the things we emphasize are the things we cannot defend so we talk a lot about the miraculous and while we're making all that noise someone in dubai has discovered a way of just making what we will do as a miracle cheap and they will soon make it easy and if that happens we're going to be in trouble because a day will come on a crusade ground just sharing a fence will be a free medical outreach with sophisticated machines and those who are not healed in our meetings will just enter there quickly and in five minutes they are giving when that happens i'm not being sarcastic when that happens let me tell you 
something will go wrong because one day the government can shut down a church and say we have examined and we cannot see your relevance the church is more than a charity organization it is our fear and our inability to rise higher we have a, remember there was a time where the healing ministry the prophetic and all these things was cast on earth the world had not caught up with that dimension so if you had it you could shine but not now not now put a poster and put a wheelchair up nobody could dare question a miracle before but right now someone will come in that crusade ground you would think he came to be blessed he's videotaping everything from your face to the person on the wheelchair they will go and examine the person and say was that leg going to work anyway or was it your prayer that made it work if i have malaria and i've started taking anti-malaria and i'm on day four and you pray for me was i going to be healed anyway or was it the prayer that brought it this is the judgmental spirit that our generation has in the days of our fathers nobody will ask that question it will be on paper mighty things are happening and a crowd now mighty things draw criticism our generation let me tell you this as some of our parents who are here there were many things that they knew that was not the best but they had an unflinching loyalty for the voices in their time nobody would dare stand up and question a man of god if they were not satisfied they would leave him and go home and pray for him remember that talk of pray for him right now a man can be preaching and a young man can stand up and say sir what you are saying no and create a debate there welcome to a new level of living where if we don't get the strategy for now we will be in trouble are we together thank god for prosperity but of the forbes hundred richest people i'm not sure there are up to 10 of them who are tongue tongues so using physical wealth to bring the world to his knees is almost a failed project because there are some of these people who have given 95 percent of their wealth i'm not aware of any believer who has done that now i may be wrong but i'm not aware it means he must take something more than money If it's education the best institutes in the whole world are not christian institutes my brothers and my sisters let me tell you whether it's research whether it's medicine whether it's whatever we have to be honest if it's in the term in terms of well-meaning of civilization and all of that go to hedonistic nation that have no for god and look at level of development infrastructure you look at all of these things many of them are already the future of africa in the next 30 years now what then will bring the kings of today's world to their knees when moses went with a rod to meet pharaoh pharaoh said nonsense you left the wilderness to come and show me a rod to become a snake i am pharaoh you show me more We can sing songs and fall down in the church congratulations but let me tell you we need to take something out that can bring the kings to their knees in babylon babylon was a place of wizardry there was something that happened with daniel there was something that happened with shadrach meshach and abednego that made the king to testify the king passed a decree unanimously that nobody should bow to any other god again except the god of shadrach meshach and abednego are we blessed we must receive grace to not ever believe that what we have seen is all there is we must obtain grace please hear me if you history here thank god for the wonderful things but you must obtain grace the second point on what i want to talk about tonight i'm just charging your mind the first i, I put it as the tragedy of complacency and arrival mentality the second is a condition 
that must be needed and met in a life if you will ever attract the hand of God that will take you to a higher dimension is called hunger and thirst it's not enough to be ready to move to another level hunger and thirst are accurate measures of your spiritual health the same way when a patient is sick one of the symptoms in most cases is that you lose appetite when you lose appetite spiritual something is wrong matthew chapter 5 and verse 6 says blessed are they that hunger and thirst for righteousness it says that they will be filled hunger and thirst john chapter 7 and verse 37 let's read it very quickly boy my time is gone john 7 and verse 37 look up please in the last day the great day of the feast jesus stood and cried saying if any man thirst let him come unto me and drink if you do not thirst you can stay with what i've given with all the days but in this new day i have been visiting you but on this last day if you are still thirsty come listen listen and understand what he's saying remember that it was not the first day the last day they had benefited from all the other days but in the last day he said if any man thirst let him come you have enjoyed the move of god before you have seen the hand of god before you have seen the grace of god before you have seen the sick healed before and god is saying in 2019 if there is any man that still thirst come if there is any church that is still thirsty come koinonia if you still believe there is more and you desire come that means if you are not thirsty you can go it's all right if any man thirst let him come hunger and thirst powerful without hunger and thirst there is no appetite and there is no desire for more of god teaching you hear me tell you tonight if you don't hunger after it will not make sense you want to listen to something else this is a teaching for people who know that there can be more this is a teaching for many people who know that lord I've seen you or oh, i've seen you do a lot of things but i know that there is more in you there is more in you this was the mistake of lucifer lucifer saw a dimension of god he was the custodian the librarian of heaven and by the strength of everything he saw he believed he had exhausted all there was in god and then he wanted to rise to run a parallel government with god and there was judgment in heaven and he was brought to his knees that was why when god was recreating man it surprised him because he didn't know that those possibilities were there they were not captured in the truths that were given to him reproduction multiplication through reproduction had never happened it was creation now that a man one man can meet with his wife and have a child that will own ah said something is wrong and so the angels came to meet with the daughters of men to use that strategy to create something else hunger and thirst one of my prayers, a man of God, every time I say, Lord, please, you know, I've shared it with you here. Lord, do not show me the extent of my impact. It's my prayer. And I'm saying it even as I'm preaching here. Just give me a token. Let me just see a bit of what you are using me to do. And I'm grateful and I'm satisfied. Let me tell you, if you think fame cannot influence you, think again. Was it not the same Alexander the way that went to a tailor, went to a fashion designer to sew just mantle with the cap, that kind of prophet chef cap? He sewed everything and tied his girdle. Behold, Elijah! He read the Bible and said, "This man is me now. What is this? 
what, have, what has he done that I'm not doing? They first started saying you are Elijah. They said, no, no, all glory be to the Lord. But the time came, they said you are Elijah. It's true. There are things you will not believe now. Keep rising. Tomorrow they will say it and you will believe it. How do you think people become Jesus? I don't mean image of Jesus, likeness of Jesus. Some gentlemen came here one time from Kano. Remember those, that, those Jesus guys and the apostles? Now I say, I don't know if you are here. But they came, some gentlemen, immediately after service. And one of them came for altar call. As soon as they were done, I just saw the gentleman. He said, he's, was it Judas? One was Judas, one was Jesus. And this young man came from Kano. As soon as I saw them, I gave them a big hug. I said, look, uh, my, my Jesus friend, let me tell you something. You are in the image. Listen, please, I'm teaching. You are in the image of Christ. Yes. Are we together? You have attained oneness with Christ based on the doctrine of the gospel. Yes. You are in Christ, one with Christ. Yes. Are we together now? The Holy Spirit represents the presence of Jesus in your life. Yes. But that you are Jesus in terms of replacement. You are not like that. Do you think that guy got born again like that? Not seeing people pray under a tree for many weeks. And by the fifth week, they left that tree mad. With strange revelations from beings that were not of earth. Pride is a dangerous thing. Fame has a side effect. When people begin to clap for you, sometimes it becomes embarrassing to step back and let Jesus be seen. Because spotlight is sweet, oh. Oh, mine mediocre spotlight can can bless your children's children so when the spotlight is on you you plan to be there forever so that when you shift your child too will be there when you shift your grandchild too will be there but there are times when Jesus says that you decrease that you will increase and many times it is embarrassing you know I go for meetings and when I see the mighty things that God is doing or sometimes when I'm teaching and the teaching grace is really on me i see the shock and the wonder on the people and i say oh dear don't be deceived you're only watching a puppet there is one behind me may i never be ashamed to let the world know that i am nothing without him this is not just some humility creed there are many proud people who say this thing i'm saying it's very true you must get to a point in your life where you are not ashamed to stand back and tell the people it is Jesus Jesus ever Jesus only he says and I if I be lifted up from the earth I will draw all men to myself let's get back to what we're discussing hunger and thirst there are times as a man of God come it will be embarrassing at your spiritual level to now join the flock to kneel down and cry for him a greater dimension you kneeling down for the flock can kneel down i'm kneeling down this guy is standing <laughs> are we together watch this a time a time can come huh when everybody is crying for more people are rolling on the ground and saying lord search my heart and as a man of god it's not any personality difference you would let them to the throne room and you are just standing there there's no need because you have become the throne room yourself you see deception is subtle so you will tell them to fast and you too you will not fast what is the need i mean whether i fast or not you see that if you want to be captured in every move of god same hunger that made you climb a tree like a monkey and held on to one branch and cried there and said god i will not come down from this tree except you bless me and god said come down i will show you what you want to see if that same hunger is not there now you can stay in a five-star hotel listen now you have all kinds of entourage do you know sometimes i look at my life today and i thank god for what god has done many times there are times that i wish that I had my life back in the days when nobody knew me. 
fame can be destructive even to your spiritual life i can't go out freely i can't eat freely i can't be myself you see that i can't stroll out to just enjoy what god is doing if someone there catches me there instead of coming to join the light now that i've seen him let me just quickly it's a very embarrassing life it looks like fame but it's dangerous time today is a luxury you must intentionally sometimes close the door to some of this comfort and retreat back listen to me and say lord this is still your boy of before again no they now call me apostle joshua selman but this is still your boy again and god says are you still as hungry as before he say hungrier than before oh god after the miracles yes sir after the fame yes sir hmm. and then he says now i will take you and show you higher things hunger can be discerned and let me tell you this if you're a man of god please listen your congregation will be a reflection of your hunger the moment you become complacent that impartation will come on them they will strangely find out that the grace is no longer there everybody say hunger almost 80 to 85 percent of the time if you meet me if i'm not studying i'm listening to a message or something there are times i just return from a ministration right there just entering my hotel room you would think i should lie down and cross my leg i started playing a message before i quickly went to go and preach now that i'm back thank god for the mighty things sincerely god is my witness there are few times that i think about a meeting and what happened once I leave that place, it's all right. If you ever ask me, how is the meeting? The only thing you will hear is fine. Doesn't matter what happened. The answer is fine. That's it. One of the mighty things that happened here, fine. A few times, some of you send me pictures and clips of what happened. And I look at it. Whoa, you mean this is what happened? Lord, I give you praise. Let's continue. Do you know why? Because you see, you prepared for today, yesterday. You don't prepare for tomorrow tomorrow you prepare for tomorrow today they are celebrating what you did yesterday if you are not doing anything today there will be nothing to celebrate tomorrow listen to me you have to learn this those who win olympic as soon as they are done they rest for a while go on a vacation one month and they're already preparing for the next olympic champions don't rest champions move not in a competitive manner there is more in god listen to me you are not going to clap for me now because someone fell under the anointing you may do that for your president in your small fellowship you're not going to say glory be to god koinonia was powerful because someone was shaking no there are testimonies today that if you hear in another church you will stand up and clap i watch here Somebody would give a very big testimony and call up, up and just clap one hand and say, Is this it? Go and sit down. We want something more. And you are right. You are right. You are right. Because your capacity is being expanded. That means yesterday's food will not feed you. Give an adult a baby's food. And you say, This is for what? The baby is grateful for having it. But the adult is still hungry don't you know that the more you grow the more the nourishment must be strong in size and quality the burden of being at the cutting edge of god's move will require you to be listen listen that hunger must remain in you that hunger must remain in you you see all the wonderful things that just happened when the, the meeting just started I go back to God let me tell you something with me and God there are few times and I want to be very sincere with you God is in this place there are few times where God comments on any meeting that I've gone to no this is the realm of champions you don't talk like mediocres I don't come back to God and God says ah son you did a great job in that crusade what for 
let's continue the training like a coach looks at an athlete you are the best in the field and after they snap you and do everything the coach is watching you not in anger he's impressed and once you come he says go and change your clothes wait for me in the field is proof of his love you have conquered that standard and he takes you higher this is what happened to david david was so david exhausted the realm of his generation and rose up into another realm and began to see the coronation of the messiah the lord said to my lord sit down at my right hand no other prophet saw that it was David that understood the excellency of the spirit. The spirit was never given without measure to people. Please listen. And now David had got it. He said, cast me not away from your presence. Take not. Other prophets were comfortable with the Holy Spirit going and coming. David said, but I've seen that a move of God will come. When this grace, the spirit will come and stay. Lord, can I not enter that move? Hunger. Hunger took David to the secret place as a king. The palace did not mean anything to him. He said, I'd rather be a doorkeeper. I'd rather be an usher. Let me be an usher. The next move than to be a lord in the former move. Hunger and thirst for you. Try and weary land. I hunger and thirst for you. Try and feel your land for all I want is you. In spite of the miracles. In spite of the revelations, I hunger and thirst for you in a dry and weary land. Yeah. Sing it from your heart. All I want is you. Lord, thank you for the revelations. Thank you for the miracles, for the word of knowledge, the prophetic. But Lord, I thank you for yesterday's wine, but I need the wine of today and tomorrow. trust God for your secret place to have such a high standard that no matter what you are doing currently when you get back to the secret place you will see that it's a step out of the if your bar is too small pride will kill you if your bar is too small one successful program will kill you that's why you see all these young guys listen listen sometimes I talk to them and I encourage them don't let successful programs enter you don't let successful concerts enter you are you seeing that there are people whose spiritual lives went down there are people who could not pursue and seek after God again the next move of God success can depreciate your pace because when you are motivated by a need to hit a standard listen it will give you an impetus but where there is no where there is nothing to prove again there is no hunger when you go for a meeting today whether you say god bless you and leave nobody will ever say oh he doesn't have revelation oh come on the track record is there nobody will ever say oh he cannot heal that's why he just did altar call and sat down when you are starting out in ministry the pressure to make your calling and election choice upon you 
so even in five minutes you want to do everything at once you want to prophesy you want to give word of knowledge you want to heal you want to share the latest revelation but as god begins to crown your 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 your, your life with undeniable graces and honor you get to a point where the pressure to rise is not there and it shows that you have plateaued it shows that you have arrived but when your hunger remains ah. when i was preparing this message i was praying for my own self i said lord my hunger should be larger than every anybody's own in this ministry otherwise how can i lead hunger i've prayed for but show me something else about prayer i've seen your power before but show me the one i've not seen i've seen your anointing but show me something else i have seen the spirit of revelation but show me something else i have seen angels but show me another dimension at the apex of his apostolic ministry look at a man's hunger that i may know him that i may know him paul i hope you know the doctrine of scripture starts from the writings of paul the acts of the apostles down to revelation the gospels do not contain doctrines no the doctrines of scripture are embedded there some of them were just shadows as presented paul single-handedly wrote to third do you know what it means for a man to create the study curriculum of the church it was not just jesus that wrote it Paul sat down and wrote to thirds the the limit of our spiritual growth is scripture that is the boundary given to us for growth and a man sat down by the spirit and wrote it yet when that man finished writing it he said that I may know him that I may know him oh God that I may know you that I may know you I have seen your power but that I may know you A man of God said he went for a pastor's conference one time and Pastor E.A. Adeboye was there. And when it was time for all the men of God to pray, he said he wanted to lie down close to him to hear what kind of prayer a man at this realm would pray. And he said when he lay down all through for more than one hour, all that he was saying is mercy, mercy Lord, mercy, mercy Lord mercy the young minister there's in power power lord result open doors oh god offering send help us that 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 small kiosk like building must be completed whereas there is a man here with kilometers as an estate and his language and his desire mercy he has learned that one of the most important things is the mercy of god Are you getting what I'm telling you now? Hunger. Hunger. If you're a pastor here, please minimize just praying for power and cry for hunger. Go back and buy the same new notebooks you bought that the spirit of revelation came to honor it. You have stopped buying it. Go and buy them again. Go and find a place where you used to sit alone with God. I'm too busy. I have counseling to do. I have mentees and sons in ministry. And you would die there. And they will go to the next move because they are followers. Mata, hmm. mata. You are worried and obsessed about many things. But one thing is needful to sit at the master's feet. Please listen to me. The things you did that brought you to this realm. Go back and start creating the atmospheres for them again. Hear what I'm telling you. This is not the issue of I'm a big man now. No, 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 no. No. I have my notebooks. You see my notebooks. I can I can gather all of them for you from the time I started working with God. 
when I go for retreats, I go with all of them. All of them. Lord, what did you say? My God, look at what you said. I bought new ones for tomorrow. I buy it like this and I show the Lord. I say, Lord, see it. Your student is here again. Packs of biro. I'm ready. Because if you are not ready to hear and listen and write, he's not ready to speak. The level that Koinonia is right now is already exhausted there. I'm already preparing and aligning for the next seasons. Not today. The preparation of yesterday brought us to where we are today. Thank God for what God is doing around the world through this ministry. But my brothers and my sisters, is child's play. And if we remain complacent, clapping, we will become like the old wine. We must be at the cutting edge of God's move through hunger. Genuine hunger. Oh, that we'll have men and women of God again who will organize program for others but for yourself. You organize a program with the same energy for others for yourself. Hunger. Next point. My time is up. My God. You want to come up higher in the spirit. You will need an encounter with the spirit of prayer and supplication. Please write it down. This is one of the dimensions where the prayer ministry is irreplaceable. If it is the next level and the next move of God, there is no, there is nothing you will do to replace the ministry of prayer. Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3. Please write it quickly. Call on to me and I will answer. The revelation is an answer. It's a response. I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that are not yet captured in your experience. Call on to me. Call on to me. Let me tell you something I've observed. And I, I say this respectfully. And I think it's a correction. That the body of Christ needs to get. There are few believers who pray for edification. Most believers have left the ministry of edification through prayer. Most of our prayer is either warfare or request. There's nothing wrong with warfare, there's nothing wrong with request. But let me tell you the dimension of the growth dimension of prayer. Is for edification where you don't enter the place of prayer with a prayer request where less than five percent of your prayer is in English you are not just entering to harass God you are not just entering to say Lord there are powers sitting on my destiny leave destiny the goal is edification and you feel the growth you feel the stretching from your spirit man very few believers pray for edification you can know it because you stand near them they are weak as weak as whatever they love god but their capacity is weak strength is discernible it's why we fall off over everything you don't get this miracle you don't get that miracle you harass god all around but there is a level of strength and stability please hear me the next move of god will come on the wings of genuine prayer thank god for miracle service don't get me wrong there is a place of supplication and all of that and there is a place of intercession for others but can i tell you this those who were here many years ago in zaria will tell you there were few times when many people today that are greatly used by god around there were a few times where people took out time to actually pray for their own request. Believers who gather and just are praying, no prayer point, no prayer request. It's towards the end of the prayer. They'll just say, Lord, just to let you know we have not eaten. And we trust your grace for supplies. Just to let you know that we have this, this, this issue. But the average believer right now prays. But our prayer does not bring the level of growth and stamina because that prayer is largely driven by lust, the need for things. So I can go to pray 
and spend six hours there correct well done but that six hours is almost five hours of harassing god when will the power come oh god is that prayer that's inquiry you've not started praying There are few believers who can who can pray if a request is not if a prayer point is not raised you want them to pray you have to raise a prayer point say this then they say so i am now follow and i pray it turn it into a prayer point but when you say let's pray they just stand and say so what should we do now and other people are praying and they are just watching but when it's all right everybody stand up lord jesus lord jesus my life my life this and that this and that i'm not saying anything is wrong with that but have you learned the edification ministry of prayer the edification ministry to the point it used to be a big deal to be filled with the holy ghost if you were not filled with the holy ghost it was as if you were naked when believers gather by yourself you will find one brother and say sorry can you pray for me it used to be a project but right now there are believers who can be in a place for many years they know about being filled with the holy spirit and they don't argue it but they have not seen the need they just feel one day if it happens let me just be filled capacity capacity there are set there are certain levels of grace and anointing that is a waste to come to you it's like pouring a drum of water inside a cup it doesn't make any sense you need to expand please tell somebody expand 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 you don't expand by preaching you don't expand by going for ministration you don't expand just by by doing bible study for others you don't expand by conducting deliverance for others no you have to lock yourself lock yourself look at jesus the word of god filled with the holy spirit while others are sleeping they are the ones who need him he will get up in the morning and pray for hours it was a daily habit to the point that when it was time for him to go to the cross from the communion the upper room he branched gethsemane and prayed there he spake a parable to the end prayer is an instrument that we can use to correct anomalies i agree but please hear me learn to get into the place of prayer without prayer points the prayer point is you the prayer point is you many of those things will be answered when you are answered the prayer point is you there are many many requests that are a revelation of weakness when you access strength with god you will check and not find the prayer points again and you are looking at time you are not praying you are praying you you pop tom tom you are not praying five minutes you know let me tell you this god loves everybody but he rewards seriousness god rewards seriousness there are pastors who are like that every two minutes you are leaking something or swallowing something there are times that you go to pray my brothers and my sisters you don't know whether you are on earth or you are in heaven you don't know it's a realm there are many things about prayer when it's said most believers don't know because that is a progression in a realm that you must get to for that thing to make sense we must pray our weaknesses are becoming very glaring we must pray for capacity in fact most people never sought anointing it was a byproduct of some of these things they didn't even know that anointing was to be sought directly now all and sundry you see a lazy people around crying for benny Hinn's grace in in the secret place five minutes lord a, a double portion of what is on benny Hinn. 
let it and god is trying to say no 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 i can give you just i don't want any he, who, you know if you are god you give good gifts to those who love you and god said this is not how it works have regard for benny not just god you want a double portion of his anointing and you are there five minutes snoring back five minutes snoring back no revive your prayer life revive your prayer life revive the edification dimension of your prayer life revive the edification dimension of your prayer life revive the edification dimension of your prayer life please hear me revive the edification dimension of your prayer life don't just pray needs don't just pray warfare pray to grow pray to grow that's how many of us enter the realms of visions it was not a conscious request you pray your way till you break the gate that closes this realm and the next realm prayer like a system of transport revive your prayer life say amen there are men of God who don't pray they are praying for me that's a deception is a deception from the pit of hell let me tell you this if you are a man of prayer and you are edified through prayer there is a signature that that the strength and the health of your spirit man is written upon you are we together now your communication and everything shows that there is a track record of prayer you can stand on stage and mumble tongues and people look and the, the scarceness you know that this one is just is just it's not just the huskiness of your voice there is a it, it, the deep calls on to deep people know that this one mm -mm, you have you have is like creating a hole there is a a position your leg can stand in prayer when you find a widespread congregation not praying it's because the leaders don't pray you only transfer to people out of the abundance of the grace that is on you please learn to pray don't pray when you have a meeting this is what people do when they have conferences they now organize imaginary um, um, five or seven days prayer i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but if you have to wait for a program to pray you will never be powerful in this world everybody say prayer i'll find a place to stop so that we can continue a man of god said something that blessed me i think it was dr paul and I heard something that he said I, I scrabbled it somewhere and it it blessed me I said boy I was going to share this I can I can I can't find it again but I think he was talking around the fact that it was it was something about prayer how that when prayer changes you then everything that belonged to the old you will have to go with the old you because you are now changed are you seeing that now yes it's like changing an house. i don't need to carry the tree that was in my former house i didn't like it so i left the house the tree goes with it when you are changed many requests change too he spake a parable listen the church started on the wings of prayer and we must pray we must pray those listening to me please pray it doesn't matter what nation you are in pray you don't have to be the president of anything to pray right now this obsession about coordinator i'm the coordinator of a prayer group so i pray if you pray because you are a coordinator you are a hypocrite coordinate yourself behind a tree coordinate yourself behind a door and sit down and pray if there's no space in your house use your bathroom use your toilet lock up that place and pray stroll out in the night and pray you don't have to shout and harass the people there but pray 
if your bed is uncomfortable stand up from it stand up from it don't pray one leg is on the ground 20 or 40 percent of your body is on the bed and you are praying god knows you are weak he doesn't leave you weak he gives you strength prove that you have received it by standing up you don't have to have a bad dream then you wake up and say you don't know, i will show you that i'm a member of koinonia Shaka, ta, 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 ta. no 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 make deposits of that prayer so that while you are sleeping the prayer is like you praying there are people who are praying even when they are not praying yeah their prayer has created a prayer motion that even in their sleep prayer is going on their prayer has become a portal for angelic activities they don't have to pray for it to start call on to me call on to me call on to me Zechariah chapter 12 we'll stop here and pray we'll continue next week Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 10 come up here through prayer verse 10 Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 10 and it shall come to pass in that day said the Lord and I will pour upon the house of David the house of Koinonia and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and supplication and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced and they shall mourn for him as one mourned for this and that and that and that the spirit of grace and supplication is a spirit that comes upon you to pray if you pray only because you are in prayer band you are not a prayer warrior a prayer warrior is not somebody what is who is a warrior remove prayer a warrior boxer learns every day a warrior chef cooks every day whether there's an appointment or not a warrior lecturer teaches every day a prayer warrior prays every day if a prayer warrior prays only when there are people there so that they will hear your voice you are doing exactly what the scribes were doing the scribes and the pharisees were never called prayer warriors they were called hypocrites are we together we'll take 10 minutes or so to pray come up here then. new dimensions in the spirit pray. hallelujah before we pray just cry in one minute lord thank you for what you have done at this level but baptize me with a fresh hunger a hunger that swallows up every achievement that has been wrought in god in my life thank you oh god for the people i've mentored but a fresh hunger pray for a baptism of spiritual hunger culminating into passion not just passion for studying books not just passion for studying the bible not just passion for going to church not just passion for serving in the house of god passion to pray not just praying and asking praying and growing praying and rising are you praying Hunger, oh God, hunger, oh God, hunger, oh God, hunger, oh God, hunger, oh God. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. Rakata branda skada balakato. Hunger, hunger. Challenge pride. Challenge the deceptiveness of fame. The deceptiveness of fame glory. 
Thank you, Lord, for these things you have done. But I cry for hunger. I cry for a test. To understand what you are saying next. To understand what you are doing next. Parado shalakata. Hallelujah. 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 In the next maybe five to ten minutes, I just want you to blast in tongues. You are not challenging any demon. You are not asking God to give you anything. No tea, no bread, no anointing, no ministry. You are praying for your edification. That your spirit man be built. Enlarge your capacity in the spirit. Enlarge your vision in the spirit. Enlarge discernment in the spirit. Shanabash Rakata Barakata de Prakatelech. Shamprato Sekete la Tarantas Caparo Zeketa. Epros Kemarato Shelekato Sebret. Shaganeganeganebosh Caparo Caparo Zia Bakata. Emprona Sadash Calabros Genebaha Shalemabos. Though our outward man perish, yet the inner man is renewed. E prakato baru zane kaposh kala pres e prakato skele katosh kamahasha e teno skele de shana marukata shake take 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 shake take 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 Pray, believers. Pray and rise into untold dimensions. Come up here. Access to light. Come up here. Access to true power. Come up here. Access to untold dimensions of the workings of the spirit. The spirit of grace and supplication. Makata barandas kabarekos. The body, the flesh may be weak, but I tell you, the spirit is willing, willing to go to a higher dimension, willing to go to a higher face, willing to come up to a level where you will see the things that must happen. 
Baratos Calabada, pray young and old, Satarika Tebaracatos Calabata Gata, be a man of God. You don't have to be a woman of God, you don't have to be a deacon. You just need to be one hungry and passionate for another dimension higher than that which you have seen. Elena Sana Macaratos, Elebarus, and Ekaliada Barash. Don't be tired. For my spirit man, on behalf of the generation committed to me, on behalf of the the mystical to me, lekatarika to Salamanakata, Salamanakata, Parakato, Sazem, Emprakatata, Kate Balakatos, Sepros Kamahashanish, Emprakatekatekatekatekatekate, Saprokoto Parakato, Sedegesia. Do not be drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be ye filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, making melody in your heart to the Lord. Ada barandas kabarato shalakata pranagate kados kele baruta segede bash. He speak a parable to the end that men ought always to pray. Men ought always to pray. The the cure for spiritual laxity is prayer. The cure for spiritual limitation is prayer. The cure for timidity and weakness is prayer. The cure for weakness in ministry is prayer. The cure for spiritual weakness is prayer. The cure for aberrated dreams and visions, prayer. The cure for stale revelations, prayer. The cure for the absence of power, prayer. The cure for newness without freshness, prayer. Shalabarakata, makata braskata barakate, shakata shakata shaseta, ambrata barakata bata. Listen, listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you why many worshippers don't receive songs because they don't pray. Many worshippers write songs, they wax album, but they don't pray. One of the proof of a healthy prayer life is the reception of spiritual songs let me tell you you don't have to be a musician there is a dimension of prayer that you get to you must receive melodies in the spirit 
you must you may forget it after the prayer but you will need it as a ladder to keep climbing i tell you why many there are stale songs in the church because many of them are composed composed by an appetite to generate revenue there are people who used to sleep with guitars and keyboards and they will lie down and play for hours 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 that's how to be a worshiper that's how to bring songs from heaven i tell you why many preachers are not fresh they quickly open their bible and browse on youtube and browse on the internet you prepare your sermon not by studying prayer creates the coordination on what to study if you sit down with a notebook and you just feel i know what to say oh i'm teaching about this no you carry your notebook you carry this when i go to bed my bible follows me my books i'm on one side my bible is there my laptop is there my phone is there everything that helps my spiritual life lies down on the bed with me you don't prepare a message by going on youtube you prepare a message by going to the secret place you pray and pray and you get to a point where your spirit man begins to zoom around a central thought that the spirit is speaking you see that and that's how series upon series will come out if you if you do ministry and preach just by looking for sermons per week you will not last one month you will not have anything to say again before the time of prayer you may not even know what to share in a conference what to share in this boy you just pray prayer is powerful prayer is powerful prayer is powerful we are going to pray just two minutes this is a request now you are going to say lord the grace and the stamina in the place of prayer baptize me afresh with it don't say i'm a woman no don't say i'm a man don't say i'm elderly don't say i'm a child don't say i'm a career person baptize me oh god the grace for prayer the interest for prayer unbeatable advantage of a life that can be defined through prayer there is no limit for a man that can pray prayer is not everything but as far as the dimension of a man's rising to access new lands in the spirit no you must pray the grace to pray as a preacher the grace to pray as a businessman the grace to pray hallelujah let me tell you this listen listen prayer is an amplifier of every virtue you have anything is amplified in prayer revelation plus prayer is higher revelation speed plus prayer is greater speed wisdom plus prayer is superior wisdom strength plus prayer is greater strength prayer amplifies everything don't stop at spiritual potentials they are there but fan them to flames the prophetic is there it will remain as a potential until prayer crushes everything and brings the wine out of it 
one of the ways you make your calling and your election choice by prayer pray parents teach your children to pray don't just teach your children to study teach them to pray little wonder the number one thing being fought in schools is prayer not yet study prayer let no day pass without you praying there is no reason for it don't do it as a ritual but please do it no matter how busy you are once it's six o'clock or seven or eight or nine your mind tells you breakfast once it's 12 or one or two or three your mind says lunch once it's six or seven or eight your mind says dinner indoctrinate your spirit man to be that sensitive the moment is morning you know it's like a register you need to sign listen let me tell you when we started out we never went to bed till we prayed once it was evening seven o'clock eight most believers already knew it was time to pray it didn't matter what even if there was no corporate prayer our phone and social life was in a place of prayer once it's 6 30 7 7 38 you start seeing people one by one you will see a tiny lady with her socks and her rechargeable playing one song she's smuggling herself to one corner to go and pray later you'll see that girl come out there, there were people who did this non-stop for years they didn't know they were powerful till the day they told them can you share in a little fellowship as soon as they stood their fire you don't do ministry by appointment it was while they prayed and fasted that the Holy Ghost says separate separate separation comes in the place of prayer it was while they prayed and fasted the Holy Ghost says separate one week you've not prayed you are all right three days you've not prayed you are all right two days you've not prayed it's okay no problem you know how Nigeria is I will, I will pray the other time when we talk about Jesus Christ many people frown their face as if you are speaking against civilization the days that will come please hear me people of God the days that will come will require outspoken radical passion for Jesus all this organized civilized nonsense that makes God look secondary will be the recipe for the dominion of darkness over the life of people oh i'm now 25 years don't don't make me look like a child i'm now 30 years i hope you know i'm now the director of a and b and c nonsense and that's the reason why you are david danced before god and his wife said how about king and keep your dignity and david looked at her and said hold on you don't even know the mystery of how you became my wife if you know it you will join me dancing I was a little boy with no hope no destiny didn't read any book i was a smelly shepherd in the wilderness i danced my way beyond any king to get to the throne and now because i am here you carry your dignity the bible says god had him all and that woman died barren it was not the devil that made her barren let my people go not that they may go around causing trouble and wasting time and just counting age and growing older let my people go that they may go and serve me this issue of living for jesus serving jesus no let bless him accepting him into your heart there are many people when you talk about genuine surrender not coming out to recite an altar call I make up my mind I am for Jesus forever they laugh at you they laugh at you because it doesn't make sense to them they don't see the need why should I give my life to Jesus I want to be the God of my own self so you manage your life by yourself I want to be the God of my own self so you answer your prayer by yourself 
I want to be the God of my own self. So you mismanage your life by yourself. It says, submit down to the mighty hand of God. Then resist the devil and he will flee. You know, I sincerely see a lot of people, great men and women of God, who want to walk in the anointing. And I see the way they play games with submitting to the authority of Christ. You will never be trusted with certain dimensions of the anointing until God vets your passion. You can't fake it. There is a level of kingdom influence and power. No, it go to a herbalist, you will still not get that dimension. It takes your heart dead to Christ, not just living. This one you have died to the purposes of the kingdom. Otherwise, you cannot carry certain levels of grace. No. The kingdom has rules. You, you can fake it with men, but not with God. There is a dimension, brothers and sisters, where God vets your heart and sees that Pastor Femi will live and die for me. I'm not, it's not one leg in today and God is not sure of what you will become in 2019. No. Basanko 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 listen to me everyone inside outside the overflows along the road listen i want to make a serious altar call now everybody sit down and listen carefully let me tell you something brothers and sisters coming to surrender your heart to jesus is not an initiation into a religion called christianity no are we together now where you are switching founders <laughs> from an idol worshiper you were worshiping stone are we together and now you say guys stone is not a better alternative so i come to another founder there are not 10 gods there is one god hear ye O israel the lord our god is one god i don't care who preaches what there is only one god the king eternal we can argue it but one day very soon the difference will be made clear there are people seated here listening to me i don't condemn you but brothers and sisters it's time to be serious with god shortly you're going to experience radical deliverances and healings and miracles but that is only useful when your heart is with god i don't care whether you have been a pastor for 10 years there are two altar calls i'm going to make in one right now please hear me carefully those following us online from any nation you're following just listen carefully you may not be able to run out but i want you to pay attention and participate number one there are people for you you have never made a genuine decision you have heard that people repent you have heard that people come to jesus you have even given them transport money but genuinely from your heart my father is a pastor that's not what i'm saying I grew up in a church you are joking you have to come genuinely we gave our lives to christ it's not an inheritance of a family you come personally the other day they blessed all of us together you are not born again it has to be genuine personal and conscious when i was a baby they baptized me come and join them as soon as i made that altar call you come and join them are we together number two there are those who the war of passion and seriousness with god there is this fear of getting serious with god for some reason you think if i get serious with god my, i won't make it in life the moment i'm serious with god i won't get a nice husband uh, men these days don't like serious ladies who, who lie to you which men which one are you talking about the drunk are there the smoke are there or a genuine holy ghost born again visionary brother if i'm serious with god 
when it's time to chop in the office my conscience will not allow me chop that's a joke is it that god cannot bless you must you bribe to rise that's how everybody is doing it you are lying that's not how every that's how you know or you have been taught that everybody is doing it elijah said i'm the only one god said keep quiet there are seven thousand others who have not bowed to bear please hear me there are people here god wants to visit your family but there is no one in your family who is born again and you will be the first tonight because god needs an access point to your family the system of the kingdom is such that god must find a portal within a territory to manifest his purposes within that territory if and when god does not find a man his power is still limited there must be an individual through sacrifice and alignment who will be able to host the purposes of the kingdom within a sphere to allow the possibilities of god find expression so if god wants to come to your family he moves everywhere and everybody says I'm, I'm, I'm too busy he comes to your mother she says i'm too busy looking for money he comes to your father i'm too confused to give my life to you comes to your brother no i'm i'm too i'm too i want to marry now god please go somewhere he comes to your sister i'm looking for men there's no time to look for god and god says i want to step into this family no one has given me space if god can find one person he, he needs to take it step by step when he finds you the prophetic implication of your relationship starts judging the powers of darkness one by one and before you know it someone starts having a strange dream in your family he lies down and he has a dream of rapture he won't share it but that dream will torture him till he thinks about it he will get up alone and you'll find out for the first time he didn't steal money again he saw angels he saw the white throne he doesn't need to know what it is his spirit has been designed to recognize spiritual things but tonight you must come genuinely to jesus don't come out here if you are playing games it has let me tell you the implication of coming out here you must be ready to scatter and destroy wrong dangerous and ungodly relationships by the grace and the spirit of god you just need the will the grace is what you receive here number two you must be ready and willing to be committed to the house of god to grow this dilly darling with god is the recipe for failure i'm too young to reject god the fierceness of life will destroy me if at my level in life i claim i'm too big for god before we continue tonight i'm going to count one to ten listen everyone heard me loud and clear overflow outside overflow along the road as i'm speaking to you the holy ghost is probing you those of you standing on the fence there i see you and the lord is speaking to you online probably you are listening now or following from another nation of the world and you are saying but i'm far distance is no barrier it doesn't matter you are still on earth everyone on earth will be judged whether you are in london whether you are wherever i'm going to make this altar call now i want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come to jesus i know you will be healed young and old i don't care how long you have been you are saying lord i'm tired of living my life the way i want i want to hand it genuinely inside outside start running one to ten one Genuinely run like there's fire on the mountain. Two. Mina Yesu ne bazanko ma, bazanko ma. Yeah. Bazanko ma. Three. Na sa hanuna. So keep coming. Don't say there's no space. Even if you have to line up outside, no problem. This is your salvation with God greater than any miracle tonight. Just find somewhere to stand. If the place is full, keep lining up there, right outside. Five. 
someone is still thinking about it and saying apostle i'm a nice person have never done anything wrong it's just that i've not declared jesus join them by the self-righteousness of no man can he be saved you didn't do anything wrong but that very nature of darkness is resident upon you all of you who are standing here please don't look at anyone lift your voice in one minute and begin to talk to jesus everyone who is standing stretch right outside and those online talk to jesus right now and say jesus i come to you i come to you pray talk to him and everyone seated i expect you to be praying for someone's salvation you know everybody around you cannot be saved there is somebody somewhere still hardened towards the things of god lift your voice and cry to jesus lord i'm saved but my father is not saved he's on his way to hellfire and i know it my mother is not saved i know today that if the trumpet sounds they are going to hell for sure i know my sister is not saved my husband is not saved my wife is not saved my colleague in office is not saved lord i know that pastor is not saved he has a church but he's not saved pray cry your heart to jesus he is here much miracle service you are meeting with the savior he wants to reveal himself first as savior before deliverer before healer hallelujah hallelujah all of you standing stretched to the outside please look at me i see you some of you are crying sincerely from your heart listen there is no man who has the power and authority to condemn you young and old i don't care what you have done i don't care how your life is we are all products of his mercy and grace are you hearing what i'm saying don't let any man point an accusing finger but then you cannot remain where you are there are people standing here and say man of god if you will lead me to pray i will i will love it i've been praying for an opportunity like this but there are powers always keeping me wherever you are inside outside don't mind who is looking at you lift your right hand to heaven and you are going to say this prayer after me please it is not a poem it is a genuine genuine prayer meaning from the depth of your heart it says i am not ashamed of the gospel why for it is the power of god unto salvation the lord wants to give you a new beginning i know you came to be healed but he wants to take over your destiny with your hands lifted to jesus who is here not in heaven right here in this place say after me passionately and sincerely say lord jesus i love you with all my heart this night i have heard your word and i make up my mind that from tonight and for the rest of my days i will live for you i will serve you without shame without fear without going back this night i hand over my life to you say it again i hand over my life to you be my lord be my savior i declare that the power of sin of satan of the flesh is broken every association that is not of god i'm separated from them this night i declare that the joy of salvation and the peace and a new beginning is mine from today i am a child of god and i will live for him forever hallelujah keep your hands lifted jesus look at the ones you died for when you hung upon that cross you saw them 
and today we are glad to present them to you this is why you put this meeting together we lift them up as trophies worthy trophies for your blood worthy trophies for your death and lord i decree and declare that this ones you have brought tonight none will be lost i speak over your life the joy of salvation that very few people know about may it be your inheritance today i declare that the peace that surpasses all understanding let it be yours today i declare that every guilt the devil uses against you every accusation we roll it away right now in the name of jesus i declare your sins forgiven by the message of god i declare that you have a new beginning with god you are empowered by the spirit to live a victorious life in the name of jesus christ amen and amen let's appreciate them keep standing everyone i'll give you some instructions now now there are so many of you probably hundreds of you this is what i want you to do um protocol please help coordinate let's do it this way those of you who are in the second overflow the overflow right from the door that leads to the road as you go out please let's have some of the ushers you stand so they can attend to you there what will happen is they are going to have your details i know you are all so many but we want your details we have a system to follow you up and to make sure you are grounded in god that's number one that's the first instruction so those outside those here at the overflow and those inside you may not need to go out just wait where you are and someone will come to attend to you please i hope the relevant departments are listening so that we can respond to them very quickly we have five ten minutes for this because i'll start praying for the sick now praise the lord now the second instruction i want to give all of you is this the bible says they that be planted in the house of god it says they shall flourish it is important not only for you to just get born again but to be planted in the house of god instruction number three is we have a system of spiritual growth here in koinonia it's a very large house so what we do is that anyone who gets born again automatically we transfer them to our prayer department for one month whether or not you will continue as a member in the prayer department the prayer department meets tuesdays 4 p.m just at the church uh, when you walk from this road right down rema chapel more information will be communicated to you and so we usually have all um, new converts to be part of the prayer department there you get to be filled with the holy spirit and you have seasons of prayer to build your spirit and it helps you to cultivate a culture of the word and also to have a kingdom community that supports your spiritual growth all these things are very important for your growth i don't want you to waste this experience praise the lord i bless you in the name of jesus and shortly the lord is going to be turning your life around in greater dimensions so let's do this very quickly appreciate them as they go just guide them whether or not you belong to any department you're a member of koinonia you see any of them moving just guide them as they go out quickly let's honor them koinonia as they do so is that the best you can do hallelujah Please coordinate them coordinate them let's just give them some room so that they can go out and then we will shake off every power of darkness roaming around anybody's life I never see anyone like you I never see anyone like you hey, I never see anyone Wait, Sam, help me. I never see anyone like you. 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 I never see anyone like you.
everyone stand up let's pray some prayers before let's pray some prayers while they are working on the people everyone say after me in the name of Jesus please say be serious in the name of Jesus father tonight visit me this is my destiny give me strange results lift your voice and begin to pray visit me in the name of Jesus visit me step into my destiny step into my destiny step into my destiny hallelujah in the name of Jesus shout it again in the name of Jesus every long-standing issue in my life and my destiny I declare that you must give way tonight lift your voice and begin to pray long-standing challenges are you praying tonight long standing issues Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, if you can pair yourselves into two and pray this prayer. If you are holding a child or you are doing something, that's all right. Otherwise, find somebody, a serious neighbor, hold a hand. I want you to agree. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the door for the next level of my life and that of my neighbor must be open now. Lift your voice and pray. Agree. If any two shall agree as touching, believe in what you are saying, you are opening doors. Pray, pray. hallelujah hallelujah you are still holding your hands say in the name of Jesus father tonight take away shame take away mockery from my life my family and my neighbor lift your voice and pray seriously Roll away the reproach. Roll away the reproach of mockery. Roll away the reproach of shame. Roll away the reproach. Pray. Roll away the reproach. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, expose every force, every yoke, every spirit 
behind the tragedies in my life in my destiny and my family expose them tonight lift your voice and pray for the light shines in darkness pray for the light shines in darkness let your light shine, O God. Hey. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Lord. Let your anointing, let your unction locate me tonight and turn my life around. Lift your voice and pray that the power of God must locate me. Change my destiny. Let your power pray. One encounter with the anointing of the Holy Ghost can wipe your tears, my brother, my sister. Pray. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord. Listen, listen to me. I will just give you an instruction. Just help those under the anointing, but listen to me carefully, please, everyone. Do you know the reason why we minister deliverance? Listen, listen carefully. You have to understand this. The reason why we minister deliverance, you don't spend your whole life going through deliverance. However, there are lives come my dear when a spirit listen carefully when a spirit latches onto your life and destiny brothers and sisters let me tell you i don't care what you do physically remember spiritual intelligence you can be doing the right physical things but the presence of a spirit representing an embargo representing a covenant an authorization for your doom will keep you down there and you find out that your life will never open up when people gather like this hear me they come with prayer requests they come with problems but you see behind those problems are spirits are we together now the spirits that are responsible for lack of favor the spirits that are responsible for a hard life the spirits that are responsible for infirmity all kinds of cases you know one of our dear people here in the ministry 
I prayed over the father's picture. I've seen those kinds of cases on television and all of that, but you could look at the leg and see the bone. The bone, the flesh had eaten to a point that you could see the bone. What happened to the man? He went to bed in the night. Brothers and sisters, I think somebody did something for him in a dream and he woke up physically and his legs started eating up. The Bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness. You want to move forward but there is an embargo. The solution is not counseling. You need an encounter with power. Everybody say power. Listen, the power of the Holy Spirit is not a negotiator. It's an enforcer. When the power of God comes, it does not ask you whether you want to be free. Your assignment is to be open till it reaches you. When it comes, it scatters anything that does not look like God. Lift your hands, everyone. Just lift your hands and be silent. I will pray for you now. The Spirit of God is upon me. Lift your hands, everyone. There are people here right now. I want you to bring there the first sets of people who will come out. Usher's grace for you and protocol. I know you have a lot of work today because there's such a crowd right to the road. But I want to pray. Everyone, please lift your hands. The Lord is speaking to me. There are people right now in your silence. Hold on. Maybe just this. The power of God will begin to come upon you. What is happening right now before we pray for the sick is massive deliverance. That deliverance is equal to breakthrough, equal to new levels. But lift your hands. There are people here who are under strong yokes of delay. And the Lord gives me an instruction. We will just lift our hands and be silent. That's all the instruction. And inside and outside, the Spirit of God will begin to locate them. Are we together? When that happens, then we'll take it off from there. That's the first thing God wants to do tonight. Just lift your hands, everyone. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands. And there are people and families and those following on, online. Except you are not under the influence of the spirit of delay. That spirit must leave you. Are we together? So keep your hands lifted. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, wherever they are right now, I stretch my hands. According to the instructions you have given me inside and outside. Right now, I see the anointing of the spirit already falling over the spirit of delay. Keep your hands lifted. Shalakataya. Bring them out. Outside, there. Just the angels of the Lord are walking. I'm seeing like smoke just moving across lines, line by line, inside and outside. When it comes to you, when you are under that influence, that's the end of it. Right now, I command it. The word of the Lord is upon this prophecy. In the name of Jesus, no instruments, don't play anything. Outside, there is massive deliverance happening. Separation from delays. Separation from delays. Bring them out. Shalakatos Thank you, Jesus. Delays. You want to move forward, but the spirit ties you down. It's over right now. No, you can't dodge it. You are under an atmosphere. There is an influence. The influence of the spirit. Line by line, the Holy Ghost is moving. Row by row. There is no faking it. Line by line. Lord, every row, every line, every individual. Let no one in this category escape it. For the sake of your mercy and your grace. No matter where you are, inside and outside, online, don't worry. The Spirit of God is moving. One by one, it must catch up with you. The word of the Lord is upon it. Bring them out. Young, old. Destinies that have been delayed. Tonight there is serious grace for deliverance. Those of you lifting up your hands, be sensitive. Be sensitive. We're in a prophetic atmosphere right now. Bring them. I see people outside. Kai, my God. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God, 
many people many people many people many people there's someone you are following from kenya you are watching from a laptop the anointing your hands are shaking the spirit of the lord is upon you judging every darkness tonight you will be located by god you prayed it you must be free please help the ushers if there are too if there are too few protocol join them different departments help them the lord really wants to set people free it's a year of triumph don't think these people are just coming out for show they represent breakthroughs these are the people who god wants to give testimonies darkness raging over the lives of people they came from different places how will god leave them that way right now all of you in front here i decree and declare to those spirits at the count of three let them go you know my voice one two three go 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 out of their lives now out now i command you by the influence of the spirit i decree and declare let their destinies go delay broken go now hallelujah now lift your hands my god you'll be surprised at what will happen now everyone say after me in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus the grace for open doors right now break every chain in my life keep your hands lifted watch it happen now that's instruction god gave me that grace breaking chains now i'm speaking across the congregation i have been seeing this for weeks but locks opening in the realm of the spirit that's what the lord is showing me but locks opening 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 right now I open them. I'm under the shadow of yours. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of yours. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow. Your influence is all over me. Oh, yeah, Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Fire is coming on 32 people, and this fire that is coming upon them is to break family altars. I hear family altars right now. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, one, two, three. I set those altars now on fire. Right now, 32 people. I see in the realm of the spirit. I command it right now. I command it. Everyone on this ground, under the influence of any altar, now be free now. Help them, please. Help that lady. Be free now. So right now be free now be free now your influence is all over me i'm under 
just a shadow of your own. Everyone, lift your hands. Say this after me in the name of Jesus. Please say it seriously. Say in the name of Jesus. Any spirit that has had access to my life and is causing destruction, hear the word of the Lord. As I shout the name Jesus, I command you to live my life. At the count of three, shout Jesus. There will be an exiting of many strange spirits. One, two, three, shout it. I command spirits, you go now. You go now. You go now. You go now. Inside and outside. Any spirit resident within any man's life, any woman's life, causing pain. Help me say. Hallelujah. Ushers, I pray for grace for you in Jesus' name. Because what I see now is not a nice scene. The Lord is asking me that we shout Jesus. There are people who are going to vomit physical things. That's why I said it's a messy scene. I, I apologize. We're very neat and organized people inside and outside. But in the name of Jesus right now, any stranger in your body at the count of three must go out now. One, two, three. I command every stranger. Go now. Every poison. Every devil. Causing sicknesses. Every fibroid. Every devil. Every enchantment. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a vision of a lady. If you're here, I want you to come out. I'm seeing your family doing something like a sacrifice, and they are giving somebody everybody a substance, like a drink, something to take. They gave everybody, including you, and you took it. Where is that person? Please, if you're here, I want you to come out quickly. It's a is a highly diabolic thing they gave everybody. Where are you? Come. Your deliverance comes now. I'm under the shadow of your wings. Help me. Your influence is all upon me. Let's have another mic, please. Hold on. Stand up, my dear. Is this a lady? Two of them? Stand up. Where are you from? Look at me. Huh? Kogi State. What happened to you? Hold on. I converted. Hold on. I'm looking at you, Kai. This thing. You entered a covenant. Huh? With who? I don't know my mother i don't know they she brought somebody and you people entered a covenant and they gave you something hold my hands shout jesus, jesus. i command that covenant jesus. that demonic thing tying your life and this miracle service it lives now in the name of jesus you too where are you from i'm from kogi state you are from kogi state the same thing hold my hands look at me I command that devil to leave you now whatever yoke please don't come out if i don't call your case are you part of them mr man young man you're part of them in the name of jesus i set you free bring the, your, you two come make sure that so that we don't get the place rowdy be delivered now help her out be free now out i'm interested in this lady please stand up my dear if you can this lady's whole family is in bondage whole family the entire family nothing is working in your family 
the Lord wants to deliver you right now hold my hands I command that spirit your time is up leave this family now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I break the yoke over your life now out now There is a lady you have been coughing blood where are you you are coughing literally and blood is coming out there is a lady like that please where are you let's hurry up we have a lot to do this night the lord is asking me to minister to a lady that coughs and then blood you cough blood who is that inside outside except you are under the anointing please come out quickly i want to pray for that person now where are you how long Hold on, just, just keep up. Where's the mic? How long? You? You are an usher? You? How long? Three weeks. Eh? Three weeks. For three weeks you've been caught. Lay your hand on your chest. You too. Lay your hands on your chest. You too. Huh? Substance. Even your what? Hold on, please. Guys, hold on. Yours is what? The substance you spoke about. What substance? lift your hands lift your hands lift both of them i'm seeing an angel pouring something on your hand your hand will start shaking and then the lord is bringing you strange deliverance it will start from your hands down to your body i place the word of god upon your life right now in the name of jesus christ both of you look at me both of you cough out blood in the name of jesus i lay my hands upon you it ends now in the name of Jesus out right now there are spirits responsible for this Kite. Ta, 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 ta. do you know what I just saw the Lord opened my eyes and I saw like a cage and in the cage I saw snakes that's all I'm seeing that's all I'm seeing lift your hands everybody the Lord is just asking me to wave my hands over the congregation there are people who represent that oppression it will leave now the Lord is asking me to wave my hands. Lord, as you have said, I see snakes in cages. Whose destiny is that? Right now, whose destiny is that? I wave my hands. In the name of Jesus, please release them for your glory. Release them now. Help them, please, Jesus Christ. Inside, outside. Be out of that cage now. I see snakes, serpents. Some of you see them in your dreams. They must go now. They are leaving you now. Now. They are leaving you now. I command liberty. 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 Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name, Jane. Jane. Like J A N E. Jane. 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 I'm also hearing another name, Victory. Is it Victory? Like Victory. Victory. Please don't come out if that's not your name. What's your name? Jane. Your name is Victory. Where are you from? Delta State. Delta State. I have to pray for you. Your family is being seriously oppressed. Why are you people here? You are all Jane. Jane, your name is Victory. I want to pray for you. Kazachat. Kazachat. Is it Kazachat? Who is that? Kazachat. I'm hearing that name. That's that's like a Kaduna name. Kazachat. Please, who is that? The breakthrough of your family has come. Kazachat. Is it? I don't know why God is going to Kaduna now. Nom. Is it Nom Shu or Nom Shu or something like that? I don't know if there's a name like that. Nom Nom Shu or something like that. Nom something. Listen, that is your name. You are. Why are they here? I call their names. I'm going to lay hands on you. Except for you, I don't even know why. 
the rest of you are but please i want you to believe the moment i lay my hands on you something will happen the lord is saying i should start with you lord open her door now in the name of jesus christ hold my hands reproach leaves your life now in the name of jesus christ reproach leaves your life now by the power of the holy ghost reproach leaves your life now reproach leaves your life now hold my hands call your parents and tell them the lord is giving them breakthrough your family your entire family delta state breakthrough right now in the name of jesus christ hold on. the serious witchcraft over your life hold my hands lord the lord is asking me to walk with you this is how your destiny is opening up that's what the lord is asking me to do walk with you to walk with you something is happening it's a prophetic act you will not help her to walk with you opens in the name of jesus your destiny opens up now in the name of jesus christ lift your hands this girl lift your hands where you are i'm seeing wind around you and the lord is that wind is going anti-clockwise anti-clockwise and the lord said his restoration i stretch my hands upon you right now i release that grace for restoration restoration there are seven other people who will tap from this anointing this same anointing right now seven seven right now the anointing for restoration is coming upon them receive it right now wherever you are Zabata kata la kata frate kese brende gata le kate pras kata barato shubre diara. Hallelujah. I'm seeing one mama outside. It's like you came here with your daughter or something. I'm seeing a woman sit down with her daughter outside. Now that's all I'm giving about you. Please, if you can find that woman and if you understand what I've said, I want you to run and come. I want to pray for the sick now, but God is delivering people. God is delivering people. Seth. Seth. Who is Seth? S-E-T-H. S-E-T-H. Your name is Seth. 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 The Lord is stepping into his life right now. Seth. Is there someone with that name? Seth. Have you found the mama I'm talking about? Don't worry, let them come. Let them come. Doesn't matter. With your daughter. Mama. Kai. There is the spirit of death on your family. I'm going to pray for you. Don't be afraid. I'm not a prophet of doom. You came from where, Mama? I came from Edo State. From Edo State? Yes, but I live in Wusasa. You live in Wusasa? Yes. But you came from Edo State. Yes. I must pray for you. There, why is he here? Who is this gentleman? Seth. You too? You are an usher? Okay. Kai, this is not the set I'm seeing. No, I will pray for you, but I'm seeing someone else. Eh? Please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now. Huh? Because I'm seeing an accident killing you. And you took what's the name of this thing they take? We we and you were high. You were about to cross the road, and then I'm seeing a truck with the name Angote on it, just running and killing you. There is somebody here you smoke please don't be there's nothing to be embarrassed about it's not like you are not a serious person but this thing you started taking it from when you were small and it's destroying your life you want to be free but you can't leave it please don't be ashamed come out now quickly please if you are still thinking about it remain on your seat some you have to be free now come out i'm seeing one you wore jeans dress like your shirt I don't know if it's your shirt, it's jeans. Who is that? No, no. There, there's another. Come out, I will pray for you. This, this is not the only guy. 
just keep them here i will pray for him i'm seeing another person outside the second overflow you are standing on the road the spirit of god is speaking to you speaking to you this thing they roll and they smoke and then you even i'm seeing you swallowing a drug i don't know what drug is that please come out come out clap for them as they come out join them quickly and come whether i mention your case or not you are involved in any kind of liquor and addiction india hem whatever forward march come here your salvation come sir please appreciate them clap for them some of them are not bad people it's a spirit don't be ashamed please usher uh, direct them so that they come here i'm seeing up to five ladies in this group up to five ladies come don't be ashamed don't let anyone laugh at you please this is a miracle service join them we we codeine whatever it is join them whether you know the name of what you are smoking or swallowing or not come and join them please quickly that addiction must be broken now who can stand against the lord no one can no one will keep coming the devil is a liar who can stand against our king no one can no one will oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh it belongs to Jesus it belongs to him hallelujah I'm seeing a very small boy very small boy very small boy who is supposed to join them young man please hold on please if the parents of the boy are here don't flog him please this is a very small boy you will not even know that this boy is wise to smoke this thing he saw an elderly person smoking it come out there is a small boy here i know what drag him out come where is the boy come out please gentlemen i'm going to pray for you don't worry you are not bad people I'm seeing a number of ladies up to five ladies they are refusing to come out there's nothing to be embarrassed Jesus Christ wants to set you free this is a miracle service it's not like you have evil people that's not what we are saying it's a spirit you don't stop by counseling mama there is a spirit of death over your family and I will pray for you I will pray for you in the name of Jesus who is this your daughter what's your name my dear Lillian. Hold on. is this mic working can you add Lillian, the voice Lillian. Lillian what do you want God to do for you I want God to heal you. what's wrong with you I mean, I with my no 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 you had a dream huh you saw a snake you can't even remember it and from that day you started having serious problem with your stomach huh what's wrong with you I go to tests and, 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 and they told me that it's a, a liver problem. Liver problem? Because I look at you and you would think you are pregnant, but you are not pregnant. Your stomach is swelling up. Mama, is that true? How long has it been? It's, it's out of three years now. Look at, look at, look at evil and wickedness. Are you married? Because you see now, assuming a brother has been trusting God to marry this sister, do you think the brother will marry her? Please help me. Do you think he will marry her? You look at her now and you think she's five or six months pregnant, but she's not pregnant. Kai. There is a lady who has refused to come out. The power of God is going to come upon her outside. You are supposed to be part of those who will be delivered here. I'm seeing the angel of the Lord outside. That lady, you were a sincere lady, but I, I don't know if it's um, another lady. I don't want to say what I'm seeing, not to embarrass you. Because the, what you were introduced to is not only smoking this. There are other things that I see that I may not be able to talk about. 
I, I'm asking you to come out. God wants you to be free for the sake of your family. The power of God is going to come upon you outside. Outside. To be free of this thing. My dear, look at me. This is koinonia. The Lord is going to set you free. You believe in miracles? Mama, you believe in miracles? Yes, I have to pray for you. Money runs away from you. Huh? Madam, I will pray for you. Mama? Yamuke. Do you hear how, sir? Okay. This is your daughter. Please be comfortable. Whatever language you can speak, there is an interpreter here. Nobody says you must be able to speak English or whatever. Any language, please. If I call you here or you stand here for healing, don't be under any pressure to say you must. Whatever language is comfortable, speak it. If I don't understand, we'll find somebody to interpret. Please, don't put yourself under pressure and say no. We are excellent people, but we are not fools. We can't put anyone under pressure. Hallelujah. Mommy, I want to pray for you because I'm seeing the Lord bringing restoration to your life. This is what I am seeing. And the Lord is asking me to pray for you. Can I pray for you, man? I will pray for you. I have to pray i'm seeing not you but i'm seeing somebody close to you having an accident traveling to abuja and having an accident we have to pray i'm not saying it will happen once god reveals it is broken lord jesus stretch your hands and let's pray for this mommy you don't have to know her please stretch your hands and pray lord we avert death we avert death now in the name of jesus christ we avert death by the power of the Holy Ghost. Mama. Is there a name like Gracilda? Is it Gracilda or Gracilda? Gracilda or Gracilda. Something like that. Gracilda, Gracilda. Something like that. If that sounds like your name, I'm sorry if I don't mention it well. The Lord kept mentioning it in my ears. Gracilda or Grisilda, something like that. If that is your name, please come out. Eh? Jacinta. No. But come. Where are you coming from? Zaria. Zaria, I have to pray for you. There's a gentleman who will destroy you. Be free now from every influence. Hold my hand anybody that is not designed by god i separate you and him forever say amen in jesus name gracilda gracilda i'm hearing gracilda something in that please if it's not you no problem but that's what i'm hearing mama let's pray in the name of jesus christ i pray for you by the power of the holy spirit new beginning for you hold up please in the name of jesus christ my dear lay your hands on your stomach kai Lord Jesus, you gathered people here tonight to set them free. I cause the spirit responsible for this. I decree and declare that this stomach will shrink. Every devil will go away in the name of Jesus Christ. If you agree with me, say amen. amen. Look at me and you will never be barren in your life. Say amen. There are two ladies, you are inside here. There is an embargo of barrenness on your family. Fire is coming on those two ladies now to break that embargo. You don't even know. It's in your family, it may not be in your life. But I'm seeing it right now. The angel of the Lord is locating two ladies right now and is breaking that embargo. Thank you, Father. I put the word of God upon this prophetic word. That embargo is broken right now right now right now two ladies two ladies there's no reason why you should come here and your life should be the same mama i will pray for you this is your daughter do you know that god is going to use this girl god will use your daughter for his glory hold my hands my dear there is more girl now but god will use you in the name of jesus christ I anoint you mama I decree and declare let hardship live your life 
in the name of Jesus Christ let hardship live your life in the name of Jesus hold on I'm seeing a wind and the Lord is asking me to follow it this is somebody's deliverance here this is somebody's deliverance here this is somebody's deliverance here this is somebody's deliverance the power of God is coming upon a few people as I'm walking across this place this is somebody's deliverance this is somebody's deliverance Lord set them free right now right now right now I'm seeing something rolling around this row this row this row this row shala sobari atas kabandabria legetege basharatos kabridia there's no hiding there's no hiding someone in this row someone in this row someone in this row hardship over your family is being broken right now i'm stretching my hands this row right there father locate that person right now right now right now right now right now in the name of jesus christ mama come i want you to rejoice look at me the lord hold on the lord is saying i should tell you that where you have been crying you will begin to laugh you have been crying for 30 years and the lord is saying your breakthrough has come in the name of the lord jesus christ please shoot for me come madam hold my hands the lord is there and should tell you it's your season of laughter in the name of Jesus Christ your season of laughter your season of laughter look at me lose her hands now lose her hands now lose her hands now in the name of Jesus Christ let her hands be loose your hands are tied I lose your hands in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ open doors open doors open doors open doors open doors that's what the lord is saying open doors the lord has said you have waited too long it's time for the door of your destiny to be open open doors come there is a spirit in your life that makes bad boys look for you hold my hands leave her now out out when bad boys see you they can't leave you as they are passing they see you that spirit calls them back i don't know who this girl is you're a small girl but the things you know and what you have done out now in the name of jesus you have gone to places you should not go you have you have the phone numbers of people that if we know now i'm not saying you're a bad girl it's a spirit including married men they will be minding their business that spirit will call them to you i command that devil to leave you now leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ I want us to pray for this gentleman before we pray for the sick you see let me tell you something addiction is a very wicked spirit don't look at them especially our dear sisters my brother what happened to you eh? gone short gone short yes, sir. who shot you I'm a soldier I was shot by my colleague you are Meduguri yes sir no he wanted to kill you huh? Eh? but he didn't kill you he was directed to kill you Hi. you're a soldier how long has this been it's going to seven months now seven months which where did they shoot your legs and you can't walk with it look at me you believe in miracles lift your crutch lift it lift it come come Lift your legs. Go ahead. You are a soldier. Lift your legs. Look at this. Come on, Koinonia. Look at this. Lift your cross up. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Walk as fast as you can. Don't be afraid. Turn around. Turn around. Come. Because your wound is not healing. There is a wound, but there is not healing. 
from today I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord who has perfected this leg will also perfect you where are you now you are in Zaria you are still in the force yes you are still in the force Ah? Huh? yes sir I want to pray for you do you believe God can favor yes sir I have to pray for you God is going to connect you with a senior person and he will lift you huh? look at me brothers and sisters I want to break this addiction from your life now are we together you are very sincere people some of you were initiated into this thing by bad friends some of you were initiated into these things by spirit I'm going to lay my hands on you while the congregation whether your child is here or not whether your brother is here or not as you are praying you are sowing a seed for your own home are you hearing what I'm saying stretch your hand don't look at anybody's face and run your mouth on any it's none of your business koinonia is a, it's like a hospital stretch your hands I will lay my hands on every one of them please all of you should pray I want to break addiction from your life don't feel condemned Jesus will help you it must be broken right now broken right now broken right now any kind of addiction out out now out out in the name of Jesus out look at this guy out break from his life now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ be set free be set free as soon as I lay my hands on you continue praying be set free addiction break break in the name of Jesus hold my hands darling no addiction for liquor no addiction for drugs something is leaving you I'm seeing something like an arrow coming out of your head out of her life now in the name of Jesus I break that addiction ah. hey Jimmy come the Lord is saying you should pray for this guy he will pray for you this guy needs serious prayer just lay your hands on him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus out out now I command that devil this is somebody that loves God but this addiction must be broken right now I break it right now I break it right now hold my hands you're a nice lady but we have to break this thing Lord please for your mercy let it be broken in her life in the name of Jesus Christ 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 hallelujah the Lord is asking me to minister to somebody I'm seeing a very interesting case you love God please don't be ashamed there is a particular pain reliever you are addicted to who is that person I want to pray for you now whether you are sick or not come and stand here particular pain reliever you can't help it you can wake up 1 a.m. in the night and swallow it it's a spirit pain reliever I'm not saying you are sick and they gave you in the hospital God is visiting addictions this night quickly come don't sit back and say I'm alright allow God set you free let them come look at this pain I don't know what it is but I hear my spirit pain reliever Whether you are sick, whether you are fine, the urge will hook you and you have to go and get it. If you, you can prefer to take it than to eat food, it must go right now. That's why God put this meeting to help people. Shala sata pradiki
there's one of you fire is coming on you now after that fire comes on you then i'll pray for the rest that's the instruction god is giving me one of you fire literal fire is coming upon you from heaven as i lay my hands upon you that addiction breaks right now stretch your hands and pray for them don't feel embarrassed broken now broken now broken now in the name of jesus addiction broken now broken now by the power of the holy ghost broken now broken right now by the power of the holy ghost broken now broken now if you have for prayers just move them forward broken now in the name of jesus broken now in the name of jesus broken now in the name of jesus it's broken now in the name of jesus broken in the name of jesus place your hand on your stomach god is not only setting you free he's setting you free from something else let her go now in the name of jesus christ addiction broken now addiction broken now by the power of the holy ghost addiction is broken now in the name of jesus christ broken now hold my hands let her go in the name of jesus christ there is a spirit that wants to destroy your life i command now there's no hiding place for you by the power of the holy spirit you must be set free you are standing in for somebody no problem in the name of jesus christ supernatural freedom hallelujah praise the lord now praise the lord please accept you are nursing a child or doing something let's all rise those outside they are still praying for you no problem all other people please stand up rise up i want us to pray if you are yet to submit your prayer request please do it quickly the bible says unto him that answers prayers shall all flesh come in one minute god can turn your life around everyone stretch your hands here and pray i'm going to lay hands on the request pray passionately from the depth of your heart lord i will not have to write this again pray i've written it the bible says after two days please if there are still people coming bring it quickly it says after two days he will revive us and on the third day he will raise us up online here please pray i'm laying my hands on this request and we're asking the god of heaven visit men and women are you praying now pray shalakata pratakatosa pradyash in the next one minute i'd like you to pray blast in tongues and say lord this is the last of the prayer request that i'm having to write concerning this issue hallelujah agree with me with a loud amen in the name of jesus christ I decree and I declare over every request gathered from this nation and from the nations of the earth online and here in our local environment Jesus I present to you impossible situations according to men and I ask you turn it around now turn it around now Turn it around now. Let every breakthrough request here be turned into a testimony now. Every case here said by men to be impossible, we, we collide that case with the power of God and we produce testimonies now. 
whoever must die for this prayer to be answered dies now whoever must live for this prayer to be answered lives now whoever must rise for this prayer to be answered rises now whoever must go down for this prayer to be answered goes down now whoever must hear god for this prayer to be answered hears god now father i pray in the name of jesus may your people not have to write this again agree with me may your people not have to write this again lord i pray that before miracle service april let every request here be turned into a testimony may the fire and the anointing of the holy ghost that makes all the difference let it rest on this request the same way fire fell from heaven to consume the sacrifice of elijah may fire fall on this now it has been prayed for you will not write it again it has been prayed for you will not write it again in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please lift up your hands everyone hallelujah listen we're in a very strange season of the manifestation first of the spirit of revelation listen carefully there is a very spectacular outpouring god wants to upgrade the work of his people to access the mysteries of the kingdom not just to know him god wants to equip us with mysteries are we together number two there is a strange outpouring of the supernatural power of god for performance for performance not just that you had god and it never happens not just that you speak and it never happens number three this is personal to us as a family of faith god has declared that is our year of triumph i want you to believe this word oh believe it otherwise you will sit down and you will watch people rise from nothing and then you will keep clapping i'd like you to insist we still have a few minutes for this meeting to be done tonight insist that if you have never stood upon this altar to testify make up your mind and say no god i must stand before your people are you hearing what i'm saying as i speak over your life now among the many things i want to speak right now i want to activate upon your life the grace and the unction for performance many of you may not know what this anointing is listen carefully lift your hands he said who has ever heard that a city was built in one day but as soon as zion travels there is a grace that is coming upon the people of god hear me for performance he said blessed is she that believes for unto her not unto them mm -mm, mm -mm. this is not a corporate thing unto her there shall be there are many things god has said that has not come to pass there is a grace that engenders performance i prophesy to you now in the name of the lord god who called me and sent me may that unction that will make results appear speedily let it come upon you like fire now let it come upon you like fire now receive it now it's yours receive it now it's yours receive it now it's yours performance 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 grace for performance everything
hanging in the realm of the spirit that is already your portion released by God I decree within the next 30 days it appears physically now I prophesy the spirit of the Lord is upon me I speak within the next 30 days it manifests in the name of Jesus whatever has slowed down your pace in life so that you are not moving at the pace designed by God I put fire upon your feet and I command speed now I put fire upon your feet I command strength speed strength speed strength speed anything that has not yet worked in your life i don't know why but i'm prophesying i'm speaking to it start working now many of you don't understand what i'm doing to you start working now i don't know what projects you are currently on that has refused to produce i force it to bear fruit now I force it to bear fruit now. Hear me. The Lord spoke to my spirit and told me that the month of April for Koinonia, you may not believe it, but for Koinonia and everyone connected to this grace, the Lord said we will see a strange dimension of wealth and manifestation write this down brothers and sisters is the word of the lord i think i was telling you yesterday that the lord told me this you will see people that know nothing about money rise in a way that they themselves are asking what happened listen except the lord has not sent me i declare you must be part of the testifiers don't say i'm too small receive it don't be foolish in the name of jesus you must be a participant listen i tell you brothers and sisters please write this down you will see a strange rising rising write this down you will say i said it nothing to some i mean mysteriously people will have to ask what is happening it is a grace there is a grace that makes it happen i'm not talking of business i'm talking about the suffering word of god upon the life of a man may it be your portion in the name of jesus i decree upon you the kind of favor that will make even your enemies to say there is God in your life I release that dimension of favor now listen you can't rise in this kingdom without the favor of God you will struggle for nothing please hear me I prophesy it again whoever is lacking favor on his life I decree from this night carry favor inside outside everywhere online carry favor let me prophesy over finances whatever makes money run away from you don't say i'm talking about money you need it for what is coming in ahead whatever makes finances run from you whatever dug a hole in your life that makes you suffer in misery and penury i turn it around now 
I turn it around now. I pray for every student here. Malasuda kabari katoshne la brigatis kalabratiya. The kind of results you have never seen, I release it to you now. I release it by the Spirit. I release it from the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone due for promotion here, or anyone's family member rightfully due for promotion, and either because of religious sentiments or because of ethno tribal sentiments, they have trampled upon you. I decree and declare may the angel of God responsible for lifting visit your destiny and ensure that your promotion must manifest. I pray for your loved ones, I pray for you. Whoever is called jobless here, yeah. before next miracle service, get something doing now. I prophesy it again. Whoever is called jobless, before next miracle service, I don't know how it will happen, but get a good job. There are people here trusting God for direction very clear direction for the next level of their lives could be maritally could be geographic location whatever it is hear god in this season like never before hear god in this season like never before lift your hands i release upon you the grace for supernatural miracles receive it right now receive it right now sapoto so brigadier receive it right now from tonight i declare whoever you speak over and command their destinies to open may my god honor it i said may my god honor it Whoever fights you goes down immediately. Whoever fights you goes down immediately. Hear me? Whoever mocks your passion for God goes down immediately. Whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise, may his prayer be answered. Whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise in Koinonia tonight, may their prayers be answered. Every embargo of bad luck upon your face that makes your helpers look at you and turn aside, I tear that fail completely in the name of Jesus. favor like never before testimonies like never before koinonia is the place of the anointing koinonia is the place of unction i pray for you a new a fresh grace and anointing let it rest upon you like the dew of heaven begin to flow very effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit I'm praying it again. Begin to flow very effortlessly in the gifts of the Spirit. Begin to flow effortlessly in the gifts of the Spirit. The mantle of honor that God has put upon my life, God has put upon this ministry. You are part of this vision, you are under this grace. There's no reason why it should not work in your life. I command it to start speaking now. No more dishonor in your life. No more dishonor in your life. 
hear me for those who have been trying certain things for a long time whether it's exams whether it's admission whatever you have been doing again business i don't care i don't know where the embargo came from but i break it right now from today any man that looks upon you may god cause them to bless you whatever has killed your prayer life this night i release upon you the spirit of prayer and supplication listen see let me tell you something don't ever let people there are people who are under such passion for new things the system of the kingdom is dynamic but the foundations of the things that make men grow are the same prayer the word corporate fellowship obedience if you leave any of these things and you say you are looking for power or looking for anointing is a joke you will never find it one more time i restore your prayer life in the name of jesus christ i don't know what killed your passion for the word your passion for bible study your passion for devotion your passion for the things of god but i command the restoration this night i don't know what took away your passion for the house of god but in the name of jesus may a love for the house of god like never before come upon you in the name of jesus the grace god released to bring the word triumph to come to pass in this ministry may that grace speak over you i speak over your life it is your year of triumph dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua salmon and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of jesus christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye